We start the game off with Engineer porting up into the top lane where he will place a Ward of Sight to block the pull camp. We are going to have the aggressive dual lane of Flux and Engineer where he actually starts by mining in the trees. So that's how that starts off. Um, let me see if I remember this correctly. Really? Auto skip pause one. Yes! Boom! I'm a replay expert stream. Look at that. Skip the pause with ease. We have Wild Soul versus Wretched Hag in the mid lane. Then we are going to have Gunblade and Roofwalker going up against the off lane bubbles. And it looks like we are going to be having a jungling Znooki Warbeast. So right off the bat, we see the doggos doing doggo stuff, trying to scout out the lanes. So he's trying to see what the heck is going on with Team Tim. As, uh, whoop, don't fade him gold. Don't, don't fade him gold. Oh my God, look. Look, everyone, I timed out. I've, I'm, I'm out. I'm gone. This is where it all happened. We're going to see the doggos make their way into the bot lane where they will delay the first creep wave so that Mr. Bubbles, a.k.a. Duder here, um, Mr. Bubbles here can uh, get some lane control, hopefully. Gunblade might try to hold the lane, though, and uh, they do a nice job of blocking the pool camp here away from Bubbles, so they're going to control what kind of experience he gets. Gunblade going to tank, tank the wave and just kind of delay it so that it gets back in front of his tower. Riffwalker pushes him away from the experience. And then we have Wild Soul against Hag. Uh, I actually don't know how this matchup is going to go. I feel like Hag should do okay, but Wild Soul is actually not to be like underrated in terms of the last hitting because he has two units. He actually has the hatchet on his hero, which I think is fine. He's 4 and 0, Hag is 4 and 1. Hag gonna get the deny there. Cthulhu Fawn and Geomancer in the short lane, though, against NG and Flux. I guess Flux, the Flux lane is a little bit stronger just because they have a little bit more damage. To be honest, I'm not super, super sure which lane is actually stronger. I just feel like Geo is weaker than Engineer, and that kind of makes uh, their lane a little bit better. Another pause. Nuh-uh, says Mr. Replay Master Wig CPK. We don't watch pauses. We skip them. So... Bubbles actually counters the Ward of Rev, but Riffwalker blocks it from respawning with his body, and then he will pull the camp again. So how's Warbeast doing in the jungle? He's uh, 260 GPM, minute 2, 220 hits the level 4 mark, so he's doing pretty good in that sense. Oh my god, you know what stream? I'm cheating, fuck it. This, I can only do this with replay, so I gotta abuse it. So Cthulhu Font tramples in. They go for a kill on to Engineer Flux. Or NG hits a beautiful double stun, and they end up taking out Cthulhu Font. They do get the return kill uh, onto Flux, but that goes in favor of the Legion side. And uh, that will boost Flux up by a pretty sizable GPM. Hag gets a regen in the mid lane. She's 290 against the 240 GPM Wild Soul. So last hits, uh, 14 and two against 11 and 0, 16 and two. So she is not only controlling the runes, but she is getting the better end of the last hit bargain. Orbis though, he's still doing pretty solid. He's gonna hit level five here in the near future. Um, I do think he didn't need to buy three mana pots, however. So a little bit too much of the mana pots, but um, 
Also, I think Buckler is not necessarily needed um, with Ring of the Teacher. It's a little overkill, but he goes for it nonetheless. Bubbles, he's on 7 creep kills, 160 gold per minute. So he's not really having a great time. Gunblade, 350. He is uh, higher farming than anyone on Hellborn so far. Bubbles actually ports to his surf. Ooh, that was a very greedy play there. Um, no, they are not playing any more games as uh, the players had to go do other things. So they stopped it at three games, which I thank you. I thank them for the three matches. Through the font tramples into his tower. A more so defensive trample, so Flux really controlling this mid lane, 400, or mid lane, this top lane, 440 GPM against the 187 Cthulhu font. Cthulhu font is not farming well at all. Here comes a release onto Cthulhu font. The Geo is going to miss the dig, and the keg will land on the Choo Choo font, and Geo could be in some trouble now as well as the mine takes him out, and boy oh boy, this short lane is not going well for polymorph as they give up another kill on their Cthulhu font this is a war base here with Lex Talionis picked up he is going to pound in the auto attacks into flux engineer could be in some trouble now as well as he does not have mana for a keg stun and this could be a double tap coming out for Snooki yes it will double tap uh, as he picks up the very early Lex he is now level 7 at the 5 minute mark so Snooki showing that he can jungle as well as play mid. He is sitting on 400 gold per minute, five minutes in, and the uh, reign of terror from Flux has been slowed down quite substantially. Flux, though, he ports back into the top lane. He does not choose to use his release here. Just putting some good pressure onto the Choo Choo font and. Chuchifon is not farming very well. 19 and 1 against 35 and 4. So, Gunblade, he's almost level 6. Bubbles will definitely be in some trouble once the level 6 comes out. Which, uh, one or two more creeps is going to be level 6. We'll see if he can net himself a kill here on the Bubbles. Wretched Hag, though, 37 and 3 against the 35 and 4 Wild Souls. So, Wild Souls actually. Keeping up with the Wretched Hag uh, here at the six minute mark, so also doing a great job actually. Flux does not hit the release, he pulls him back with the uh, discharge, as it's called. I forgot the name of it for some reason. So, whoop is now 0 3. So, it's starting to make sense why they gave him Oogie in game number three. Bubbles, by the way, in the bot lane. I'm going to cheat on that one. Sorry, stream. So he gets the level 6 here. He's going to get in range for a grappling shot. Bubbles with the Shell Surf on cooldown. Will die. Even with the Crippling Slugs missing. It's just too much damage with that latch uh, mechanic. Or whatever you want to call it. He was tied to him. Spinblade picks up a Ring of... Or not a Ring of Health, a Life Tube. Is he going to keep that though? What does he build that into if he keeps it? Because Nullstone is not very good this game. Top lane. Oh my god. Warbase. Another kill onto Flux. He's going for yet again another double tap. That Lex damage is really coming into effect. It's an ultimate warrior streak now for Snooki. Apparently Snooki's teaching me how to play Warbase. As uh, the early Lex Talionis putting in so much extra damage. That's minus five armor, which uh, might even be putting them to almost zero armor. Engineer, yeah, it puts them to almost zero. Choo Choo Font takes another slow from Flux. Flux picks up the Ghost Marchers. Could it be a Cleaver? It could actually be a Cleaver Gunblade, huh? Yeah, I believe that does work. Hag will blink down to the bottom rune, which will spawn Merrick's top rune will spawn 
double damage, which Geo will steal away from Engineer. They have both now used their spells. Engineer, though, taking some heavy pressure. Dick Stun will connect. Wormhole is going to be channeled. It will miss. Actually, no, that was uh, Engineer's Wormhole, excuse me. Hits onto Geomancer, and Geomancer falls. Whoop dies again in the top lane. He is now 0 4. So he's getting completely demolished by this flux. So, uh. Team Tim starting to take a small gold lead here. So we're entering the 9 minute mark of 2,300. The experience is almost dead even though. And uh, Warbase ports into the bottom lane. He has Metamorphosis ready to go. Again, Bubbles has Kelfield. They're looking to set up a kill here on the Gunblade. Here comes the Kelfield and the Lex. Gunblade is on the run. He uses the shield, but so much damage coming out from that Warbase Lex Talionis. And Warbase is now level 10 with a 5 0 streak. I feel like I'm learning how to play Warbeast as we speak, or as we watch this uh, this replay. Top lane, we have uh, Engineer putting some mines down. Wretched Hag, what is she off to? She is off to the base. Wild Soul is going to have some space here to potentially put some damage in the tower, but looks like Wretched Hag is porting uh, back into the mid lane. So yeah, Gunblade, I guess he will be going for that Rune Cleaver. Top lane, Alawak Bar. Mines catch uh, Geo off guard as he goes down. Choo Choo Font throws out the trample. They miscoordinate the keg with the uh, discharge. They miss, they miss so many spells, but they still killed Cthulhu Font. That is insane. They missed the keg, I think, and the mine. Um, Flux was just too uh, too quick. It's Cthulhu Font only with the red booties. Can't run away from Flux. Bubbles, he escapes. Uh, looks like he escaped a grappling shot in the bot lane. Ports on home as uh, Hag was looking for him. Here in the uh, bot lane. Mines from Engineer. Warbis actually going to spot him out here though. Spawns the puzzle box. And... Oh no 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 no. They're coming. They're coming now. Engineer is going to fall. Onslaught Street coming out now from Warbis as he gets yet again another kill. So he goes through the puzzle box level 1 to follow up the uh, Lex Talionis. He's now level 11. 460 gold per minute. Wormhole being channeled in the mid lane. That lands onto Wild Soul. Now they did use the Bat Blast already. Wild Soul, he's trying to turn this around. He's trying to life steal. The Rift Burn is doing so much damage though. The power supply is going to heal him up. Will he have mana for the Sonar Scream? Yes, he will to follow up that Flash of Darkness. Wretched Hag is now in an offensive position, but no Metamorphosis on the Warbase. Meanwhile, in the top lane, we have a dive coming out onto Flux as they get the kill with uh, the Kel Field being used there. So Flux goes down in the top lane, but Wild Soul also goes down in the mid lane. Bottom lane Gunblade putting some pressure on the tier 1 tower. As uh, he is getting closer to his cleaver. Might have it by around the 14 to 15 minute mark. Engineer drops the energy field here. Kexlin is not going to connect. They still get the kill on to Cthulhu Font. Geo is the next victim and Bubbles will be forced to shell surf away. Wretched Hag blinks in one more auto attack with that double damage rune as Huge Soul gets the double tap. Well, this is going on Wild Soul pushes the mid tower. And bottom lane, they get the kill on the tier 1 tower. So a couple of towers falling in exchange. Uh, mid for bot tower, or 
for each side. Lilamont ports into the top lane. Double damage tag is still here. Is this going to be a spawn die coming out from Choo Choo Font? The pull from Flux. One more auto attack. It will be a spawn die. And will they be able to make the escape now is the question. Warbase is on the chase. But he doesn't have any disables. Kekstun is going to connect nicely. Two men Kelfield onto both the... Uh, or actually it was only a single Kelfield onto the Flux. Flux is now going to actually leave himself. Will they be able to make the jukes and get the safety? Looks like he will. Hag will also get the safety. Shell Surf will not connect onto either side. And now Warbase is in some trouble. Will he go down? He's doing some nice jukes in the trees there as Bubbles is putting some return pressure onto the Engineer. And will Engineer end up falling? The Shell Surf will spot him out into the Song of the Sea. Power Supply comes out from Engineer though. Here comes the Kegstun. It's going to be take covered by Bubbles and one more auto attack comes in from Wild Soul to secure the kill. So when it's all said and done, the Cthulhu font and the Engineer are the ones to fall as Warbeast made a nice escape as well as the Flux. Wild Soul picks up a Null Fire Blade. And uh, it's a 2000 gold lead only for Team Tim as Wretched Hag picks up a uh, Gnome's Wisdom and a Neophyte's Book. He's going to put some pressure into the bubbles here. Here comes the Bat Blast. Sonar Scream is going to be take covered here by Duder. And Hag is forced to blink away. She gets caught by a Dick Stun. Deny comes out from Wild Soul onto the bubbles. Wretched Hag is going to blink yet again. I don't think they're going to have the uh, catch here to bring him down. Wild Soul does get him with a uh, slow from the Null Fire Blade, but. Another blink away, says Wretched Hag. And Gunblade and Engineer are making their way here. The Cascade event is going to pull Wild Soul closer, but he will still find himself the distance. As Wretched Hag is going to go for the bottom rune, Wild Soul is going to destroy it. And Hag cannot refill her bottle. Puzzle Box level 3 was now finished on the War Beast. And. He's actually kind of fallen down in GPM, so he was a little bit higher earlier on, but uh, despite being 6-0, he's only sitting at 430 gold per minute. Orbis making his way down to the uh, bot lane here, where he has some team support. He's going to run right into a Riftwalker. Spawns his puzzle box. Here comes Bubbles with the Shell Surf and the uh, Song of the Sea. They are going to snipe him out. Now he's going to run into Gunblade. Will he be able to take out the Gunblade though is the question. He pops the shield. Here comes Flux with a release and Warbeast Metamorphosis is running out any second now. Warbeast is over, uh, over committed completely as he gets gone on by the uh, grappling shot <coughs> of Gunblade. Hedge attack is going to eat a dick stun into the crystal field and he will get bursted down. He will fall. Energy field is now down. Cthulhu Font with the Dream of Madness activated. He is going to... Will he survive? Actually, no, he will not. As uh, Wild Soul will clean up the tower in the background. Kekstun is going to miss on a Geomancer, but Geomancer is going to fall. Double tap for Juder, actually, as he gets the kill onto Riftwalker. And now Flux is in some trouble, but I think he's a little bit too fast. He will get the distance away. So I believe this fight was still won by Team Tim as they uh, have increased their gold lead now to 4,000 despite the tower being pushed by Wild Soul <coughs> to conclude this team fight. But 500 GPM on the Flux and shortly behind is the Gunblade with 480 gold per minute as he picks up his Rune Cleaver. is sitting on 1,700 gold. So... Looking to finish his second tier of item. Um, Wild Soul has upgraded into the Null Fire 3, where he is sitting on 1,000 gold as well. We will probably see him pick up the Shrunken Head to follow that, um, as that was his build in the third game as, we as well. Bubbles picks up Spell Shards level 1, and I didn't see what Warbish just bought, but. Wild Soul is getting caught here in the bot river. This is this could be considered a gangbang, as it is a four versus one, and um, no assist credit coming for uh, one of the players. But Warbis he activates the puzzle box. He's running around, hasted. He's running in circles. Actually, he's not sure 
where to go. He ends up trying to chase the Flux, but he portal keys out, and Warbeast ends up wasting his metamorphosis on nothing. Unfortunately, so. They end up losing their Geo and their Wild Soul, and they don't get anything in return. So, it seems that Polymorph is uh, slowly losing some momentum here. Bubbles is dead. That was, uh, that was not the play. That was not the play. Gunblade actually picks up a Knuckles. Which uh, is a pretty peculiar follow-up to a Cleaver. Was expecting something like a Firebrand. Or perhaps a Shroud. But uh, Flux picks up a Mighty Blade. It looks like he's going for, I want to say, either a Shrunken or a Frostal Skull. And uh, wouldn't be surprised to see either. Geomancer dies to Engineer... Was that a Mind Trap? Meanwhile, Kongor is being attempted by the uh, Wild and War Beast. Wild Soul and the War Beast. It's gonna go down pretty pretty quickly. So uh, no life steal on the Warbeast actually, but built-in life steal on the Wild Soul makes that pretty uh, pretty easy. This might be this might be a staff actually for Hag, as uh, I want to say he's buying pieces to staff. Wild Soul, I believe he was spotted here by Riftwalker who. Uh, Uses the Veiled Rot, actually, to uh, to get himself to safety. Hag is up here split pushing in the top lane. Bubbles is leveling up his shards to level 3, I believe. Orbeez finally got boots. Let's go, boots! Okay, it is an ice brand on the flux, so he's going for the frostal skull. Hag continues her split pushing, but Polymorph is not interested in defending this push from Hag at all. There are mines here in the Hellburn's jungle as well. Looks like they want to complete their shrunken on. Uh, Wild Soul and Warbeast uh, might also be looking for his own shrunken head. <clears throat> we see Choo Choo Font pouring into the mid lane here. We could have a team fight of Bruin. It's Wild Soul. Leading the way into his own jungle. Now he's going to be spotted here by this ward of sight. And he does not have his shrunken head picked up. Here comes a wormhole being channeled by Riftwalker. They pull, uh, they do pull in the wild soul only onto the energy field. He goes down. Cthulhu Font goes down as well. Kelfield connects onto several heroes. Gunblade is going to, uh, I believe, take out the bubbles. And where's Warbeast? He is uh, not interested in fighting this. As I believe his puzzle box. Okay, it is despawned now. So it ends up being a one for four team fight, and all of a sudden, Team Tim is looking in a really great spot as they are now sitting on almost 500 GPM on all three of their cores, and the uh, Warbeast and the Wild Soul are sitting at the lower 400 GPM mark. But the map control is starting to really take into effect now as they have taken out the tier 2 tower in the top lane and they're going to put some pressure here in the mid lane as well um, Gunblade I believe he should have money for his firebrand maybe needs about one more hundred gold and uh, actually I think he already has it being sent to him Hey, look, I reconnected. I'm back. I'm back, stream. I actually didn't know you could reconnect if you've been gone for like 20 minutes. 
Um, staff was completed on Hag, but uh, there's no really good staff targets, unfortunately. He could staff Flux to give it a global effect, but I don't think that that's really uh, worth the money. Unfortunately, dude and uh, and company are not having a good game. They catch bubbles out here in the jungle. Bat blast onto Choo Choo Font. He kind of just tanks it like a man, though. Yep, he even says it tickled me. Oh no, Warby's died. I'm gonna cheat again. Sorry, guys. We're gonna cheat. Oh, uh, looks like it was a wormhole that caught him off. Here comes the wormhole! Woo! Keg away! Morbius couldn't get his uh, metamorphosis off and get to safety. So they use uh, two ultimates there to take out Morbius. Meanwhile, Geomancer continues his feeding frenzy. He's on nine deaths as well as, uh, as Mr. Whoop. So the short lane has died 18 times this game. Sanuki and Ozlifer scratching their heads at why the lanes fed so much. They're trying to they're trying to carry their team the best they can. But they can't find their shrunken heads yet. There's just too much pressure coming out from Team Tim. So they are still needing both the Mighty Blade and the recipes. <clears throat> um I think Flux has his Frostwolf now. Just hasn't clicked the uh, recipe button. Boom, there it is. Recipe button was clicked. Gunblade actually goes for a null fire blade. So, uh, he doesn't go firebrand or shrunken. He just wants some more, uh, more shield and, uh, more extra burn damage. There's the, uh, there's the level 3 spell shards. Wild Soul is dead. Bubbles comes in. That's a beautiful kill field though. Warbeast is coming in now. Will he be able to bring down the targets though? Or will he die to the AoE? Here comes a uh, crystal field, but it doesn't connect onto anyone. Wormhole connects onto Warbeast. Griffwalker does die. Here comes the pull from Flux though. And will they be able to turn it around? Wretched Hag with that double damage and she gets the first kill onto Warbeast. She is maybe gonna get the next kill onto Geomancer. Yes, she is. Cthulhu Font is gonna get pulled away from Hag and they will get the champion in a newer streak double tap onto Flux. And that is when the GG's get called and Team Tim took their first game of this Grim series. So Team Tim won game number two, but unfortunately,